Hello, my name is Keely and welcome to part two of making a Beau Batons uniform from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This week I did two things. I dyed the fabric for the costume itself and I made the cape. So without further ado, I'm going to take you through both of those things I did. So I have four types of fabric in this costume, two of which needed to be dyed. One of the fabrics that needed to be dyed was one of the sand wash satins. I couldn't find one in a light blue colour that I liked, so I opted to get a white one and figured I'd dye it from there. Same with the collar fabrics. I found one that was the perfect shade of blue, and then I found another one that had a perfect texture, but of course it was white, not blue. So I thought I'd just dye it. The first fabric I'm going to talk about is the sand wash satin that you can see in the cape here. It is a 100% polyester fabric. I had to get a specially formulated synthetic blend dye and I went with the Rip Dye More Synthetic Blends. I had two colours that I mixed together, Kentucky Sky and Sapphire Blue. And I mix them together according to the ratios that I found on Rit's website. They have a whole bunch of colour formulas there and I just found the colour closest to what I wanted to achieve. So I filled up my dyeing pot with 11.5 litres of water. Now here's where the fun part comes in. I actually ended up dyeing the dress fabric three separate times because I kind of messed up the first time. I was on autopilot and I'm used to dyeing cotton fabrics and as a result mixing in things that you need to mix with cotton fabrics such as a cup of salt. However, because this was a synthetic dye, you're not meant to put salt in it at all and you're meant to put in a little squirt of dishwashing liquid to help the dye adhere to the fabric. So my first batch of dyeing came out rather splotchy and not as saturated as I wanted. And so I opted to do another two more dye baths. The collar fabric that I have is a 100% cotton fabric. So for that I just use rip dyes again, but this time the ones specially formulated for cotton fabrics. And I use the colours indigo and pearl grey. And once again using the ratios on Rit's website, I was able to get a colour that I was quite happy with. But this time, the cup of extra salt added did work to my advantage because it was cotton fabric and that is what you were meant to add to help the dye fix to cotton fabrics. And I ended up with this light blue colour here that I'm quite happy with. Once the fabrics were dry, it was time for me to finally start making my Beau Batons uniform. I decided to start with the cape first because I figured that would be the easiest thing to do and I'd already spent the week dyeing and re-dyeing my fabric. So that's where I started. Using the patterns I drafted last week, I cut out the pieces for the collars and the cape itself. I then took the collar pieces and also cut out some interfacing which I would use to stiffen the inside of the collars with. Using the iron on a low temperature I was able to iron the interfacing onto the corresponding collar pieces. From there I pinned the collar pieces together and sewed them on my machine. Okay, 
After the collar pieces were done and basted together, I then went to work on the cape itself. I cut two pieces of cape fabric from the sand wash satin. I used the lighter colour as the outside fabric and the darker satin here as the inside lining. I began sewing the cape pieces together by sewing the two front opening seams first. With the front opening seams sewn together, I then took the fabric and lay it down on a flat surface again. I took my pattern piece and laid it out flat on top of the fabric. I then used the curve along the bottom edge to re-hem the cape as it had shifted somewhat when I cut it the first time. I then sewed up the bottom edge and then turned it right side out and gave it a press. Next, I sewed in the collar. Finally, I added a hook and eye in the center here so that it has a way of attaching. So there you have it. That's how I dyed my bow batons fabric and how I put this cape together. So if you enjoyed that, please come back next week. I'll probably have more progress on my costume. Maybe? If not, keep coming back. <laughs> I'll, I'll finish it one day, I swear. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye!